Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We're back here in Ingvild and we're um, just slowly trudging through these uh, caves and exploring exploring um, the scenery and uh, we found one of Arundel's journals. Uh, don't know who Arundel is or what his significance is in the area but apparently he's studying uh, basically necromancy, reanimating the dead. And, um, I don't know, I feel like that might have not gone too well for him. Because this cave is now infested with Draugr and ghosts, so whatever, whatever he's been doing, it's not been good. I will check this way. Also, also do not know where Stenvar is, haven't got a clue. He didn't come into the cave with me because he went missing beforehand. So we're just kind of hoping that once we go back outside, he'll just be in the area. I hope. Wait, no. We need to go this way, don't we? I, like, I'm... Oh, do we? No, we don't. No, 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 no. It is this way. I am getting so turned around here. There's a lot of different paths we, we can take. Time to end this little game. Ah! Right. I don't know why these ghosts are attacking me, but they're attacking me, so I'm kind of treating all of them just as immediate, immediate hostiles at the moment. Probably better to be safe than sorry. Although, although I could probably beat them pretty comfortably in a, in a sword fight. Especially if I uh, utilize Hangman's Noose. But... Like I say, I kind of just want to play it safe. Another Draugr. It's a dead Draugr now. I don't know where this enemy is who's clearly skulking around below me. There he is. Oh, do we just switch to the Falmer arrows? Oh, it's gross. Yeah, we got him. Ah! They did the job, the Falmer arrows. They did the job, however. I should probably switch to better ones. We should have plenty of glass arrows, correct? Oh no, no we do not. That is, that is a lie. Dark arrows will do for now, I think. I mean, I mean, any arrows will do, but... What a bit more than just being passable, you know? Especially, especially if Stenvar's not going to be around to aggro people. Um... I need to have my best equipment in front of me. Right, we might have found another journal here. Probably have. Scroll of Red Zombie, Arundel's Journal Part 2. Day 8, I've established a temporary workstation in the cold caves and have found multiple burial chambers within the, within the snow. And ice. While in the first chamber, I exhumed a few test subjects, all female. I was stunned to find my mind wandering against the women of Dawnstar as I examined my find. At first, I was slightly disturbed by my thoughts, but later I found myself re-evaluating. Oh dear me, this is getting slightly up. This is slightly unsettling. The first trials went splendidly. Each subject was, re was reanimated in a state of total complacency, bending to my every task and whim. I have ordered a few of my new servants to guard the island, while the rest will act as my personal entourage, standing by me at all times, standing watch over me while I sleep. I do not like where this is going. I really don't. This just... This sounds wrong, I'm not gonna lie. Can you not... Did I just get 
shouts, "You son of a bitch!" How how dare you did? Oh, a Draugr Death Lord. That's concerning. Uh, he does not sound like he's going to be fun to fight at all. Um, where is he? There he is. Did you see how much how much damage that 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 one arrow just did to me? <laughs> oh, this ain't gonna be good. This ain't gonna be good at all, is it? That man was like a trained assassin. Oh, I'm back at the start. Can, can I get Stenvar, please? I have I have a companion for a reason. Where is he? If I if I fast travel like that, will that make him spawn next to me potentially? Yes. There we go. Come with Stenvar. We'll go in there and we'll kick ass. Right. Let's do this. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready for a fight, Steady Stan. Right, we'll get our blow out again. Nice. Oh, he had a portion of water breathing. Well, I tell you what, I should maybe do. If I equip the elven arrows for now, I'll save the bone arrows for the death lord. <laughs> that was kind of sad. That was, wasn't it? Uh, Senval wasn't even actually in a position to fight back there either, but, but uh, that Draugr just got absolutely smacked by the arrow. Alright, come on, here we go. Yep, Invil, Invil oh, Ghost. Oh, Stenvar! Oh! Yes, it's all clear now. Do you know what? I take it back, Stenvar. I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I criticised you. I was, I was, I was very harsh. There actually wasn't I? Yeah, I was, I was very harsh. Very harsh indeed. Very, very harsh. This cave is actually kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's try again. Good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, we we are more than capable of killing these these guys because we've literally done it before. Oh hi. Yeah, there we go. That was never gonna go well for you. Straight straight through the chest. Can I get the arrow back? I can. I think I just hit him in the foot. And again. There we go. Okay, so we'll go this way. Again. There should be a ghost there, yep. Get the sword out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You won't. Oh my! Was that... Was that an instant kill? 
I think she had full health. I mean, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Just didn't quite expect that. Huh. Okay. So we'll quick save. We'll, we'll probably quick save kind of periodically uh, in this in this place. Because we are aware to its dangers. Oh shit, 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 shit. Can you chop the head off a ghost? I don't know. I'm not sure how plausible that is, but I'll take it. That's fine. It's, it's more than fine. Okay. Once again, go this way. Oh, you bastard. Why is this a move? Standby. Absolutely brutal. Garnet and gold. Vigorous healing potion. Good stuff. Right, so we know definitely that we've got a second journal coming up. Once we get the second journal, we'll probably quick save again. Just gotta take it slow. Take it slow. We know about this Draugr down here. He's pulling his bow out. Not gonna be enough. Too little too late, my good sir. Too little too late. Let's carry on. The second journal should be here, I think. Yep, there we go. Right now, this is where this is where it's gonna get dicey. I mean, that's not even to mention Arundel's creepy journals. Um, right, we'll take this. Hit this ghost if we, we miss the ghost. And you know what that means. That fucking Draugr Death Lord's probably on the on his way as well. Yeah, that there he is. Oh, I actually did. That did quite a bit of damage to the Death Lord, actually. Right, that will do. Let's finish the ghost off. You son of a fuck! Let me just get that back out again. We'll charge it up as well with a with a greater soul gem, sure thing. His weapon does damage. Oh, we got him! We've got him! We've got him! We've got him! Oh. Did not like that. Did not like that fight at all. I mean, we did a lot better in that one than we did in the uh, in in the first attempt against him, admittedly. And you know, Stenvar didn't didn't completely die in the process, so we'll we'll take it. That little bit of aggro did help. Thank God for ice form, I will say. Right, here's another journal by the looks of it. Arundel's Journal Part 3. What does this one say? Day 21. Intriguing development. Tonight my guards have brought me a trespass they found near the cave. At first I was understandably upset. Not only was I disturbed during one of my few moments alone with my favourite servants. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
But I recognized the trespasser as a milkmaid from Dawnstar. She remembered me as well and made bold claims that I had been th I, I had been lurking near her at all hours. What lies? True, I had taken notice of her on occasion, but she was nowhere near the most noticeable of maidens in town. Her continued accusations, coupled with my fear of more uninvited guests, led me to conclude that she could never return to Dawnstar. My servants were, were quick to carry out my sentencing. Her body is here next to me as I write this funny. Her eyes are, so, are still so full of life. Perhaps I'll try a new experiment tonight using fresher materials. This guy! This guy is a fucking... Ah. Oh. Right, let's quick save. So this is the Ingville throne room we're going into now. Might as well get our bow and arrows out now. Since we never actually use them against uh, the, the, the Death Lord when we were meant to. Right. Huh. Get ready for a fight. What was that? Oh, oh, these guys are immediately hostile. Okay. Oh, look, it's Arundel. Trying to blizzard us. And it's working. It's working. It's quite actually, it's working right now. Oh, God. Help me. Help me, healing potions. I need help. No! Wow. That was actually quite, quite effective. So. Obviously, we we have no reason to try and, um... Uh... Talk with him. Not gonna lie, I would... I probably shouldn't even want to talk to him after some of the stuff that I've read. But we'll stay in stealth this time, and, and we'll just try and shoot him immediately. We've got him. We've got him. We've got him. Did he just heal? He just healed. Oh, you son of a bitch. We can definitely get him. We can we can absolutely get him. 100% we can get him. Um Do I have a uh, true shot? Balls do 5% more damage for 60 seconds. Drink that. Equip our bone arrows. And we're uh, and we should be in for a good one. Get ready for a fight. This time, Arundel. You're going down. Probably. Shit. We missed. Did he? Did he not? Did, did he not die because of that? Oh, fine. That staggered him. This guy, this guy is... He's always on the verge of dying, which is the most annoying thing. However, I feel like it's me fucking up that is causing the issue. We'll do that again. True shot. Because that should, gen that should genuinely help. And then pop him. And then pop him quickly again. There we go, we got him. Time to end this game. Now it's just the ghost, which we should be able to deal with more easily. Yeah. You're not winning it in a straight sword sword fight against me, pal, sorry. I th holy shit, I thought that's that's actually such a fantastic shot that isn't it? Like just seeing him dead in the throne like that. Honestly, honestly if if you'd have walked in and seen his corpse like that, you well, wouldn't have been surprised. That's that that's the game honestly could have placed that and, and and it would have looked right. That's that's really good. Arundel's key. That's great. Stafford chain lightning. 
He didn't even use that. He was just he was just like, yeah, I'm gonna freeze the freeze the fuck out of you. Alteration increase, we don't really use much alteration, do we? Well, we got his key. So I'm guessing, guessing we now just need to find his other journal. It's probably gonna also be equally creepy. Is it in here? Oh, no. one of them was in bed. One of them was actually in bed. Oh, another unusual gem. I've got a few of those now, haven't we? Conjure haunting spirits. Mass necromancer hood. Oh god, this guy had some equipment, didn't he? Grand staff of charming sounds good. Iron shield of waning magic. Scale braces of eminent shield grip. Some nice equipment, right? What's Arundel's journal, sir? Day 28, the new experiment has proven a success. The milkmaid, whose name still escapes me, has, was revived as the others, bowing to my commands, with only one interesting development. She has reformed in incorporeally, more, more phantasm than reanimated dead. As her glowing visage stood before me, I found my hand reaching out to touch her. As my fingers passed through her, I felt a sensation unlike any other, as if her essence were invigorating my very soul, connecting with me on a level no woman of flesh and blood could do. This discovery is life-changing. I've ordered my older servants to go out and find any more subjects that may have become lost. With the discovery of the inner sanctum deeper still within Ingvild, I should have sufficient room to store many new materials until I can transform them into willing slaves. I, I look back on my daydreams whilst living in Dawnstar and wonder if they were in fact portents of times to come. Return to Vekel. I'm guessing he must be in Dawnstar. Well, I think I probably once again managed, managed to jump the gun on the quest here, but hey. We found the journals, so we can say, hey, we've already been in there. Right, so we're going to end this episode here, guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and share, and I shall catch you in the next episode of Skyrim. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.